Hello, Internet! It seems like almost everything under the sun has a pinball machine. It doesn't matter whether it's a movie, a TV show, a rock band, you name it, there's probably a pinball machine based off of it. And video games are no exception. There were quite a few pinball machines based on arcade games in the early 80s, and around the same time, the pinball experience itself was going digital. While Mario did appear in pinball on the NES, it wouldn't be until the 90s that game franchises began to get real pinball spin-off games, and the blue blur just barely beat out Nintendo. Sonic's pinball is a cross between classic Sonic and pinball, where the goal in each stage is to maneuver Sonic to grab three emeralds and defeat Robotnik. It's not exactly easy to get Sonic to specific places, but if you want you can just treat it like a standard pinball game and try to get the high score. On the surface, Kirby's Pinball Land is a bit simpler, but the controls are really clunky and you're constantly falling off the table. As cute as I find the Kirby Game Boy games, this one really isn't that great. Fortunately, Pokemon Pinball is a bit more traditional. You have a fairly standard pinball table with some Pokemon flair, and the goal, aside from racking up a high score, is to catch Pokemon in the center. Well, that was a fairly decent pinball game. Now we can talk about a Mario pinball game, and on the GBA no less. Let's see what- Ah, oh, that just looks painful. So in this game, Mario decided to be spherical. I mean, the Toads and the Princess are doing it too, why not follow the trend? So the game is like Mario 64. You collect stars, you unlock doors, but good luck getting through those doors. It takes forever to get Mario where you want him to go, and when he finally gets there, whoops, you fell back down, gotta do it all over again. See, the problem with these pinball games is that they want you to make way more precise movements than you realistically can by hitting a ball with flippers. I just wish there was a pinball spin-off game that actually felt like a pinball machine without any mandatory precise aiming that also had the words Prime, Pinball, and Metroid in the title. It's perfect. Now this is the ultimate pinball spin-off game. It feels just like a real pinball machine with the extra screen space and the included rumble pack. And all you have to worry about is knocking around the morph ball to rack up a high score. All the enemies, the extra environments, they just serve to assist that. It's pure pinball action at its finest, and it feels awesome to play. And those were just a few of the many pinball spin-off games. To be fair, some of these could be fun, but I feel like it's best to just let pinball machines do their thing instead of making complex, multi-leveled games with them. 